day in the life of a South African living in China. Basically, this is what I did in the morning. I brushed my teeth, took a shower, and this is basically the OOTD. And I'm walking to the bus station, and in the bus, I realized there's something wrong with my dress. So this first class, second class, reading a verse or two. In between classes, lunch, uh, it was delicious, and the kilocalories that I'm destroying, another verse or two. I'm headed to the bus station, so this was a long commute, uh, going to this place where I was going to go and get my grocery. Uh, this is such a great grocery store, especially for Western individuals. There are a lot of Western products, or Western-inspired products anyways. Um, I got meat, I got quite a lot of stuff. Um, the total spend was 1100 and this alcohol surprised me, 42%. What? I thought that is actually, it looks like actually I got peanut butter and Chinese sauces. Because I want to start cooking some Chinese meals. I wanted this class, but I didn't get it. I also needed salt. I thought I was going to get that one, but settle for this one. A laundry detergent. And I actually bought the sanitary pads. They're a bit expensive, about 100 bucks. And this is just a range of toiletries. I got this thing because I thought it was cool. I'm looking for a bottle, but I didn't really buy this one. This is their chocolate section or chocolate range, dried fruits. Um, I got some wafers. They have uh, cheese wafers, which I don't understand what all that is about. And I got a bunch of cereal, like a lot of cereal, actually. This, this is the crisp range. I thought this was custard, ultra bell, but yeah, it wasn't. So yeah, I got margarine in a sense, as much as it's unsalted butter. Uh, this is by the bus station and getting to the bus. Grandparents here take care of the grandkids. So that's it for lovey. And for supper, I had the leftovers from yesterday. So yeah, if you remember me cooking, this is 